Hello friends, it's been a while. Um, I wanted to put another video out there. I really don't feel like doing a video this late. I'm tired, but I realize it has been a long time since I put one out. Oh, a little too quiet. Also too, it gets frustrating when I put one out and it gets blocked by, so hopefully the Grateful Dead are not gonna block me. Um, and that's what we have tonight. Um, I don't know, I just got a bunch of vinyl from somebody in work who was giving them away. And this was one of them, and I was like... So, Terrapin Station, I'm not sure what side this is, but uh, Estimated Profit. This song is one of my three favorite Grateful Dead songs. Um, can't narrow it down to one, so... This is up there. Um, anyway, so... I wanted to do this, and I have Burial um, out of Asheville. Uh, my wife's cousin's husband, so my cousin, um, great guy, fan, unbelievable, fantastic chef. And I don't even know, I just see everything else. But um, we've traded some beers over the time, and things went really good. Um, we both live in really, or we both have access to really great beers um but right now i have four burials left and um don't know which one to review i'm gonna have to grab the one probably with the lowest abd because it's been a little bit of a day for me nothing crazy but uh i took a big break but uh no, i would say a big break but i took a break so i think this one is the seven percent but i'm gonna go overall like look pretty cool artwork um, I love the, the banner, like how it's tough to read at times, or it can be, I guess, but I love the, that's their burial, that's their shtick, is naming, the name of their beer is long, and it's usually in some kind of, um, scrolled, here we go, I'll just show you two of them. That's the Hard in a hole two in front. Alright, so this one here, uh, Until There Is No Longer is the name of this beer. Um, I had it before, I don't remember. I think I liked it. Uh, no, I know I did. Um, just about every beer, well, not to say that, but few and far between beers at my own place that, or even ones that people give me that aren't satisfactory. I mean, I drank Miller Lite earlier tonight. Um, I went out with my friends, we went to Center City, watched the games, tradition we kind of done. Um, I, my first two beers were Miller Lite, and my third beer was a Guinness uh, drought out of the a drought out of the can. That's all, nothing crazy. It's an interesting version here. All right, oh well, shoot, I should have talked about this before. Um, out of practice, I apologize. Ooh, um, that looks really nice. But yeah, you can see, I, I, I'm assuming that color shows up. It shows up, it looks like it shows up a little bit darker on there, but it's kind of a straw yellow, eh, a, little, a little bit darker than that. Tropical, it's a pineapple. I do get a little bit of blueberry. So I think it has some mosaic hops. I, I have to drink some. I, I can't just go this long without drinking. I hate talking about it sometimes. Sometimes I just want to drink it. And then I'm better off at finding out what's there. Great mouthfeel. Great Really, really good mouthfeel. For a non-treehouse beer, that's one of the best mouthfeels I've ever felt. Let me just double check on that. Yeah. Maybe not, but it's pretty darn good. <laughs> 
that's estimated profit. So let's see what's all right. We have to do the final. Um, this is one of the quintessential Grateful Dead albums. The I don't know if this how good this album is, but the uh, the sleeve has nothing on it. It's not worth it. I laid it over here just to get it out of the way. So I'm gonna put these. Well, no, I'll put these three back after the video. But um, wow, that's that's really good. It's really got a great cascading mouthfeel that comes across. Um, Burl might have just jumped up a little bit in my rankings. Um, I had a triple earlier tonight that I shared with somebody. Um, and I got a, so me and guy at work um, split a case. And I'm always, when there's, if there's, there could be a place that's literally around the corner. If they offer free shipping, I, well, I, I would feel bad. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I'd feel bad about that. But any place that's not right around the corner, I'm going to take advantage of the free shipping. If they want to give me free shipping on their beer, and this was out of Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina to just outside of Philadelphia, PA. Um, it's a hike. Not terrible, but like I said, we shipped beer back and forth, and they got there, and it was great. So when we were shipping beer back and forth, excuse me, I would ship it out, and he would get it. If I did it by like four or five, that one he would get it the next day. I think I, I don't. Know. I was shipping beer out to my buddy in South and uh, California, Dustin. Cheers. Haven't been a while since we talked. Sorry, spill a little beer, head drink it. Um, it's been a little while since we talked, Austin. But uh, cheers, everybody. Um, anybody that knows me knows I kind of like the dead a little bit. And then when I was up college my last year, he died on my birthday, and that kind of kind of solidified solidified my appreciation for that I, like I gave him an extra listen um, just like that like they're just all about love and like there's two bands I'll dance to it's Grateful Dead is one the other one nobody knows except Whitmore and that would be Dismemberment playing but uh, Dismemberment playing really makes me want to dance so more than the, the Dead actually um, they're kind of like an emo band but uh, anyway So yeah, Terrapin Station, I need to talk a little bit more about the album and the beer. Burial, fantastic beer, um, Asheville, North Carolina, which is a mecca of great breweries. Like, we're spoiled. If you go from Asheville to, like, Maine, there's just so much, like, in that strip there. Uh, maybe a lot of it's, like, other half is New York for me, so that's not far. Um, tired Hands. Uh, Treehouse is four out, four and a half hours for me, but I still make a trip there as often as I can. So I would rank. Wow, that's a really good. That's that's the seven point four percent. I. This is eight, this is nine, five, and this is, or nine, three, nine, two, and this is ten, five. I'm like, I had to go with the seven, four, but I wanted to show the burial on, on, yeah. Great artwork, too. Um, but yeah, and I just, this is eight, I, I didn't want to drink any of them. Such a, this beer has a great mouthfeel for a 7.4% IPA. That mouthfeel is fantastic, and I appreciate it. Um, I am looking, all right, so what's the next step here? 
you, you guys tell me. Um, I'm starting to get more people in the uh, the guest spot. Uh, I did my son, and uh, unfortunately that video got blocked because we did Pink Floyd The Wall, which I've done a lot of Pink Floyd and have never been blocked, but for whatever reason, a great video, touching video with me and my son was blocked. Um, it's such a shame because like we are just giving props to the music, so why would they, whatever, anyway. It really does have a really, really good mouthfeel. And it ends with a, it's a touch of, Clean the palate, I'll give it one more taste. Yeah, that mouth feels really good. For a 7-4 as well, pineapple, a little bit of tangerine, there's some citrus there. Kiwi and uh, what the heck is that? The fruit you get, or actually, I've been getting recently when I get Korean food. Um, what the heck is it called? Guava. Whatever reason, I had a brain fart there. But um, it's a, there's a little sweetness in there that smells like guava. Yeah, to, actually, a ton of that. To me, I get a ton of guava on this one. The guava, actually, now that I'm thinking about it and focusing in on it, the guava's out um, performing the pineapple. Yeah. Oh, they're both prominent. Um, it's going to be a shorter video at least how about that um, I know I need to do more I need to be more consistent with this it's just sometimes life's crazy works a little bit crazy um, right now both my girls it was my youngest daughter's birthday on this week and then my other daughter who's just 23 months older than her her birthday's coming up so and then my son's birthday was not too long ago. But, uh, eh, you, you all know, things can get busy, so. Cheers.